Algoma Orchards is a major supplier of apples to Loblaws and other Canadian retailers. They also export apples to the United Kingdom, South America, Mexico and the United States. Algoma's plant currently packs over 12,000 cases of apples a week. Here you can see the data bar sticker being applied to the apples. Let's ask Kurt Kemp, president of Algoma Orchards, if he encountered any challenges with the new sticker. Okay, when we first uh, were given the challenge of having this pilot project for the RSS label, we had uh, a couple concerns regarding the uh, labels that they weren't near as colorful and didn't identify Ontario fruit, but having realized that was the way the industry was going, it was making it much easier for the checkout clerk to identify the fruit and the right price and it also made traceability much more effective so that each individual fruit would be identified and you could tell where it came from and uh, who shipped it. Really, uh, we've been labeling fruit probably for uh, eight to ten years here so it really wasn't an issue we had to adjust our labels a little bit and uh, the labels a little bit bigger on the piece of fruit so it shows up a little bit more some people like that some people don't but Overall, it was pretty easy transition. Loblaws is Canada's largest food retailer, leading provider of general merchandise, pharmacy, and financial services. They are a leading innovator of new technologies to drive efficiencies within their supply chain, which ultimately delivers better services to the consumers. Let's find out why Loblaws decided to implement Databar. First got into this, what we wanted to do is look at something that eventually would be a global solution to the identification issue pertaining to traceability. With that, what uh, we were looking at is identifying the product so that uh, initially the front end, uh, front end identification is there when it comes to differentiating between conventional and organic produce. In addition, uh, many stores carry multiple sizes of commodities and that will also help uh, differentiating the difference between uh, retails that you potentially could have. One of the advantages with RSS codes is it allows us the ability to go and scan the product instead of uh, having the customer look up PLUs. That applies both at the self-checkouts and at the regular cashier lanes. So today, without the RSS code today, and I'm, I'm going to actually split these into two so we can uh, see the difference. Today, when a customer was entering this product without an RSS code, they would uh, put the product on the scale, Please enter the, the code label number, code on the number pad and press done. And it just happens to be the example of bananas for as the RSS code. So today, the customer with that code, Please place hit the done, in the bag. and it would instruct them to go and put it in the bag. And of course, the self-checkout system will actually go and correlate the weight between here and there. Well, the danger is, of course, that the customer could enter the wrong code or the cashier could enter the wrong code at the front end, or this could be an organic banana, which happens to be a different code. It could be uncoded, plantain banana, finger bananas, etc. In the self-checkout world, what the, uh, with the RSS code, what the customer will do is they will scan the product. Please place the item on the scanner it down, and wait. Please place the item And then they place the it in the bag. So now we've been ensured that we've got the right scan on the right product for six or seven months now, all the apples that go through our line, seven or eight or ten different varieties now, all have the uh, new barcode on them, and uh, it's really pretty simple. So uh, we didn't see it as a, as a big uh, challenge, and um, it, was, it was pretty easy to implement, actually. Um, we're actually excited that we're gonna, we purchased a new uh, packing line, and we're going to be doing uh, melons this year that we have the technology on this new machine that we can uh, do cantaloupe, uh, honeydew, and canary melons this year. So we're excited about the opportunity to do that because we see it as a real plus for us. I know a lot of times suppliers go, oh, here's another thing that our customers, uh, in a nice way, ramming down our throat. <laughs> and what's What's the benefit for me? Well, you know what? I really see a benefit for this because now uh, our customer can identify our fruit on the, on the shelf, whereas before, if you might remember uh, looking at a, a, maybe an apple display, there were pretty well all the labels were about the same. It had a little variety on the side and they tried to have some uniformity on the shelf. But once that piece of fruit got picked out of my box and got put on the shelf, 
the customer couldn't really tell whose fruit was on there because most all our um, industry in Ontario anyway have multiple suppliers. So for us, now we can uh, go on the shelf and look at our own fruit and the customer can see our fruit and see what fruit, what the fruit looks like and how it's standing up on the shelf and, uh, and actually how it's selling. So that's a great opportunity for us that uh, we can differentiate ourselves between our, our competitors and we uh, take that challenge uh, on a positive note. Um, I also for more information about GS1 Data Bar, contact GS1 Canada or your local GS1 member organization.